2015, I couldn't believe some of the things my eyes had just seen. I was sitting in traffic at Orioles Park, and what do you do when what starts as something peaceful suddenly stops? When anger knocks and violence comes in, I was sitting one car away from the intersection full of those who share my same skin. Picking a fight that was labeled for justice but looks like revenge. Religious bystanders looking down like, look at the sin. City goers turning the blind eye like those ain't my friends and the young people involved with attitudes like I would not bend. But I'm frustrated and I'm weak. It already saddens me to see how we're treated, but it kills me to see how poorly our parties respond to be. And I mean, I don't think we get it. No, I don't think we get it, but who am I talking to? I'm talking to the ignorant, but the ignorant won't listen. So this is my open letter. This is my heart cry that the cries would get better. But what's better ain't better if they're better is terror. Outsiders looking in like, look at this error, but how can we expect them to know better if they see no better? I see your frustration. I feel the same pain, but this ain't new to us. America's been running the same system since Jesus died and simply became news to us. Everybody wants to talk, but nobody wants to listen. Everybody got to cry, but nobody's grabbing tissues. Where are the band-aids to aid with the wounds? Where are the outsiders who can say, I can relate to you? We were misguided from the come up as a toddler and due adolescence. In other words, we grew up with these blind eyes and we're convinced we don't need the glasses. Most of these cops get suspended. And that's reason enough to clap and all cops aren't the same, so let's be grateful for that. But in the same light, every black man and a black man who deserves his back cracked or his shot, all because you couldn't tell the difference between your taser and your block. Wow. Eric Harris, Freddie Gray, Mike Brown, Walter Scott, the names go way further back in history, but right now, we got too much media in the way to get an uncorrupted listening. So word to the unaffected. America keeps comparing our anger to the wrath that we don't have. They call us animals to provoke us to go planet of the apes because they don't communicate and their orangutan behinds want to play like they ultimately related to the gorilla. They in love with some chocolate but swear it started with vanilla, got them in love with the cocoa but mad at it like it's the reason for the widening of their torso. When Bama, they chose to eat it. America got my people screaming like I can't breathe while you America, you look back like well I can't see so I'm a Turn the other cheek because I can't feel, so I'm not listening. I dragged you into this land. What makes you think I want to pick you up so I can understand your differences? Oh, oh my God. To my black community. Wow. Oh. Wow. Welcome yeah. to the unhyphenated America. Wow. Where they either love to hate or love to love only because they're scared of you. Keep in mind, you didn't choose the brown life. The brown life chose you. <laughs> it's not your fault they continuously try to pick you off the vine like bad fruit. You know that handful of berries where you throw out what looks bruised, forgetting that the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Yeah. yeah. Violence isn't the answer. But silence isn't either. Then again, who are we to say when we did the same thing to Jesus? Uh -huh. Whoops and beat him. We sit silently in a, in a room while Van was blatantly mistreat him. We act like we don't know pain. And regardless of your skin to your religious views or your misguided avenues, if you can't identify with pain, then you got bigger problems within you. I'd be lying if I said I'm not affected. I'd be ignorant to turn a blind eye to the pain that's ejected. Welcome to the unhyphenated America, where a cop is turning into nothing more than an excuse to get away with murder, while a black man, well, a black man stands target without the heart to even hurt him. My heart is burdened and I'm weak. And it saddens me that people rather win an argument than sympathize with the pain of one weeks. I mean, I got family and friends with the same pigment in their skin, and the black in me, well, the black in me makes me an equal to all those whoever, whoever left to unjustly rock to their course. More so, I serve a God with a heart bigger than this world, so it wouldn't be quite like of me to be heartless because that wasn't my blood left to ooze or my city left to ruins. So let it be known that I hear you, and I'm listening. To every hyphenated individual left in America without a mention, God sees your fight, and he's fixing it. But until the end results, we got to be the hands, feet, and voice of the unheard with anticipation that God is going to get his glory, and justice will be served. Last thing, it's like a little snippet. It's not super long. It's short. So I was writing this letter right, and it's it's okay. So uh, it goes like this: Dear Mr. Blackman, 
Hi. Hey. Hey, what's up? I see you out here fighting. Fighting to live. You've got a target on your skin that you can't dismiss, and I know you can't take it, but how much can you give? Whether to yourself or to these kids, what are you doing to make the shooter's vision a miss? Yeah, maybe that was too much too soon. But have you ever thought that maybe we can make your skin to you seem less of a threat in the red, white, and blue? I know, that's not your job. They dragged you here and you can't control the lives told of you by a grandpa Bob while your black ancestors worked on their crops. You can't control the racism they pour on us. You can't control the injustice they birthed. We can't force them to see us differently or <laughs> we can't force them to see us differently or eat what they serve, but you can dag one sure, give them a pretty picture to observe. Yeah. Now I can't promise you things will be different. I can't promise you that <laughs> I can't promise you things will be different. I can't promise you you'll be heard. I mean, I can't even say the treatment is what you deserve. I mean, maybe God made you black because he knew you were strong enough to handle it. Like maybe he made you brown so you can add colors to his canvases. Mm -hmm. I don't know for sure. But I encourage you, show the world who you are by showing them what you're not. Show them your handsome picture and paint it with all the melanin you got. Don't hide out in the trenches. Give them what makes them irk. Spread your wings like eagles and fly above them like the birds. But on your way up, don't forget the young kings behind you. See, a lot of them need your help too. So if you can take one under your wing and show them what they haven't seen, please, by all means. The revolution starts with you. But it's time for you to make a reality of that dream so that you can live it too. Thank you.